it's nine o'clock in the morning well for goodness sakes I have 900 watts attached 400 on the roof 100 watt panel and 400 watt panels and this is all I'm getting sometimes it's only 30 watts can you believe it I'm trying to hold this steady unbelievable huh okay so I just showed you the wattage I was getting in from 900 watts now I want to show you how I combine two solar panels and four uh, rooftop panels into one so that they can all charge my solar generator so this is our well, let me show you I don't know how well you can see this this is my configuration but it's pretty simple I have a 3y and a 2y connector each one can handle up to a thousand watts so this is a 2y connector one two I have two series of panels my newer panels and my older panels and I put each one in series by itself and I bring each one down and I connect them in a Y two connectors so I can connect two panels so if I wanted to just use that which I do in many days just what's on top then I would now connect my solar to that but I don't want to do that I want to add two suitcases in order to add two suitcases I'm going to have to be smart I had a three-way okay so here is a three-way I don't know how well you can see this here's a three-way it's just tough right now because I have short panels this is a three-way can you see that try and bring that up okay so I have a 400 watt suitcase connected a, a 100 watt suitcase connected and now I'm going to connect the 400 watts from uh, up top it's going to be right here you just slip it in yeah right like that I now have 900 watts connected so I'm going to show you this maybe maybe not you know who knows who knows who knows if I can do it or not let's see okay they're very hard <laughs> so here it is one connector this is my solar panel I only have one can I have to do a correct solar generator not solar panel solar generator correction connection so everything has to go to that so the three-way goes right like that push that up it's connected that's 900 watts two suitcases and four panels on the roof maybe you don't understand it but I'm still going to keep showing it to you because it's really really important how much you get in every day I have had a real problem on this trip now I'm showing you the 400 watt oh, and Marley and the 100 watt and um, you know have to change the angle of them etc 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 whatever these are kind of heavy the 100 watts easy for me here's all the wiring so you need a lot of wiring and you've got to get the right wire thickness um, so you want to check that out but so I've had a real problem on this trip I kept running out of solar we've had a lot of rainy days um, and the and the panels are so old up upstairs on the, on the roof two are two years old and two are five years old and the five-year-old maybe I'm getting 30% out of those, those which would be maybe 60 watts and the two-year-olds I'm getting a little bit better maybe a hundred and twenty so the max I'm getting is between 160 and 180 a day and that's only when again they don't slant 
the panels you can go outside and you can slant them you can change them and you can angle them differently to get better sun these stay put so they only get direct sunlight at the max for maybe an hour two hours a day so you're not going to get as much as you would like when I add the panels that gives me a lot more because I can go out and I can move those panels around to get better sunlight I can do a lot of things and so I want a Y connector to put as many panels on as I can not to go over a thousand watts the Y connectors do not handle more than a thousand watts so you have to remember that at all times a thousand watts through those Y connectors I have used two wire connect Y Y connectors they're called Y the letter Y uh, one is for two and the other is a three and it it adds up to I'm on right on the edge there of 900 watts coming in so when it gets to be about noon which should be my highest wattage for the day between noon and two and I have to keep the panels keep angling the panels that if I can um, that will tell me how many watts I can get a lot of watts at that time I'm hoping I'm hoping to get at least 500 watts but we'll see and I will film that as well this will be a one whole video again I'm talking solar I know you guys don't want to watch it but if you're living in a van for those of you who are beginners this is the perfect time to buy a Blue Eddy I can't say enough good about Blue Eddy I have had I don't even want to name I have one right now that I've had for a year 2500 it is I'm not even charging it because it's not working the on off button stopped I don't need right now I'm not saying the name but I should I'm very disappointed and um, I haven't even tried to call service at this point but I will but I'm very frustrated with it so I don't even use it I only use the Blue Eddy I've never had problems with the Blue Eddy they have a 600 watt I think for less than $200 that can run all night it can run fans it can run lights it can charge your your, your phone it can charge your computer uh, if you have USB lights you're better off anything that's USB I got two new USB fans which I will show you um, that are just fabulous and I've got a, a USB light that I really really last most of the night the fans last all night and I'll be talking about that but right now this video is just about using Y connectors and putting as many panels of solar that you can to get better wattage for your solar generator so you're not running out like me I've run I've been running out this whole trip I don't because I can't put my panels out I'm driving all day so I'm dependent on the upstairs and they're too old I, I am replace I'm going to replace them I want two brand new 300 watt um, panels so I'll have 600 watts up there and I've had 400 and up until this year it's been pretty good uh, you I think you should always have a gas generator solar is not um, reliable because you're dependent on the Sun and many places don't have bright enough Sun direct Sun you might have weeks of rainy weather or snow you cannot they're not that reliable because again you're depending on nature I'll see you next time I, I hope you're getting somebody's getting something out of these solar units that I'm talking about and how to connect this stuff I really hope you are because um, I really think it's important for you whether you're old you're young and you're in a house you're not in a house houses are a little bit a lot different a lot bigger um, batteries really to run it all and you would need a lot more knowledge than I do but living in a van you still have to have some knowledge I'll talk to you later thank you so much please share um, hype whatever they say I'll see you next time